In case you guys have not heard this yet, at the upcoming East vs West event where Devin and Levon are set to compete, Ermi's Gasparini also has a match against Alizan Moritzov. Now if this match was on the right arm, I would say that Ermi's could win this match in his sleep. However, this match is going to be on the left arm. Ermi's left arm is definitely very solid, but it's not at the level of his right arm. Moritzov, on the other hand, is a left arm specialist and one of the best left handers on the planet. But the great equalizer in this match is that Ermi's is way heavier than Moritzov is. And Ermi's has gone on record saying that there is no way he is going to lose to someone who is that much lighter than he is. And although there are a lot of factors and unknowns in regard to this match, I do agree with Ermi's that he is just a little bit too big and a little bit too strong for Moritzov in this match. In this video, we will cover the reasons for this. Firstly, we need to discuss the style match. This match is going to be a classic hook versus top row fight, and I think that whether or not the hook is set is the primary win condition for both opponents. In other words, if Ermes gets forced into a hook, he loses, and if he doesn't get forced into a hook, he wins. And I think we have a pretty good example of Moritzov attempting to force a super heavyweight into a hook and struggling that would give us an indication of his ability to do the same thing against Ermes. And that is Moritzov versus Cody Merritt. Now I have to say first of all that I was super impressed with Moritzov in this match. Clearly he's the way way smaller guy yet he was able to win this match. However, although the final score was 3-0, it really was a super close fight. We see in multiple rounds, especially out of straps in the last round, that Moritzov does end up failing to set the hook and actually loses his wrist and has to bail out underneath Cody's top roll. And in the same round inside of straps, we can see how close the match is to falling back into an outside lane. Moritzov is totally redlining here in order to just barely force Cody into a hook, and really, if you look at it closely, Moritzov didn't force the hook by bending his wrist. He is able to isolate Cody's arm via supination, but his wrist is flat and if anything, it may have cracked back slightly right before the pin line. So there could be a debate as to whether or not he even forced Cody into a hook in this last match. And I have to think that Ermes is multiple levels above Cody, both in the aspect of back pressure and pronation, and every single area of strength Ermes will need in order to block the hook. But perhaps more importantly, I think that Ermes setup will be much more refined specifically for denying his opponent's wrist flexion. And in a hook versus top roll match, the setup is absolutely crucial. And finally, perhaps the biggest tell we have going into this match is the fact that Ermes pulled against Artem Morozov, who is the current number one ranked left-hander on the planet. And in this match, Ermes looked really, really good, all things considered. Keep in mind that Ermes had just finished having a super tough match on his right arm that he cared about way more than this match. So basically what happens is Ermes pretty much gives up for the rest of the fight halfway through round one, but I do think we have some interesting data from the first half of the first round. On that very first go, Ermes cracks Artem's wrist back and is very close to gaining full hand control. Notice how we don't see Artem defeating Ermes by forcing him into a hook here, but he rises up and over the top of Ermes. Moritzov is not going to be able to do that. He's not going to go around Ermes, but he's going to attempt to dive directly into Ermes' biggest strength, which is his back pressure. And at the end of the day, I just don't see how Moritzov can contain Ermes' insane back pressure. Ermes' back pressure on his left isn't quite as good as the right, but it's very close. So I do think that Ermes is just a near impossible style match for Moritzov, as he has one of the strongest, if not the strongest, back pressure on the planet. But let me know what you guys think about this. Who do you think is going to take this one? I will say that if Moritzov somehow beats Ermes in this fight, I will be beyond impressed. Just over three weeks out.